hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started so as As always here we are in after effects let's create a new composition we will call it as main animation width is 1920 height i'm going to choose 1080 frame rate is 30 and duration i'm going to choose 10 second long and background color is white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title set action like this now for the font i'm going to choose poppins font and i'm going to choose let's say extra bold version and let's choose black color for popping fonts now let's select our text and first thing we will do we will type our text nice like this and distance between alphabet let's choose minus 40 like this then select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this Press V for selection tool and by holding shift, I'm going to move them over here. Then hit Ctrl D to duplicate it by holding shift. I'm going to select this text and I'll move this over here. Let's say somewhere around you know, here. Select both of them and let's adjust it like this. Now select this text, press Ctrl T to select your text tool again. And over here, I'm going to type different text like this move. Okay. Then after that, select this nice text hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring this at the top and now change the color of this layer uh, to yellow and over here i'm going to select my text tool again and i'll delete this text. the only thing i want is n then press v for selection tool and by holding shift i'm going to move this text over here now let's do one thing let's select both of this text and for the color of this text i'm going to choose red so i can select this text and i can adjust them properly on this now let's select this text hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v for selection tool let's move this over here and change this text to i press v to adjust it properly and by holding shift we will adjust it over here now we will hit ctrl d again and let's change this text to c and make sure to adjust the position hit ctrl d again move this over here and change the text to e select this and try to adjust the position like this okay so now the position of this text is uh, awesome now let's make this thing into complete fit now select all of them and press p for position to reveal the position uh, keyframes now select this position right click and choose separate dimensions and we will do this procedure for all of them like this and like this now select all of them and create one keyframe at x zoom in a little bit go to around one second and now we will change the x position over here like this okay so we will get something like this now what we need to do over here let's select all of them and we will create one keyframe at y position go over here and we will create again one position at y uh, position and now let's in middle of that i'll bring these things over here now in search option i'm going to type y only so i can see only y position keyframes select those keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph zoom in a little bit let's select this and move this handle over here and this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you see we will get something like this let's see this again let's select this zoom in a little bit and let's adjust properly like this go to the start let's adjust properly like this okay so if you see we will get this kind of animation now after that go to page down button let's hit few times like this and we will create one keyframe at y and in middle of that we will select those texts and we will move them upward 
let's select this last keyframe and again move them a little bit forward like that so we will get this kind of bounciness also so if you see we will get this kind of bounciness now press r for rotation create one keyframe hit u go over here let's make one complete rotation so if you see we will get something like this okay now what i want at this point i want certain change in this text so first of all let's enable motion blur for all of them like this and press r for rotation keyframes let's select those rotation keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor we will select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here and this handle over here so we will get this kind of rotations now at this point what i want the text should change so in search option i will type source text and i will create one keyframe hit page down button to move one frame forward now i will select this n select our text tool and change this n to m so it will automatically create another source text keyframe over here over here for this i i am going to type o for this c it should be v and this e i think e should be e so we don't need to create source text keyframe on that so if you see this thick now we will get something like this now at this point all we need to do that we need to adjust the expositioning of each and every one of them so hit u let's select and hide all of them and make sure hit u and make sure that you are at this point where your x keyframe is there and hit use and so you can adjust the positioning of x also select this like this with the help of arrow keys i am going to adjust the positions select this like this okay so if you see this now we will get something like this now after that right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it apparent with this null object select this null object press s and let's decrease the scale and let's move this over here now i'll select this nice text and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'll move this over here which is our reference layer like this and hit u so we can see those keyframes again like this then at 20 frames i'm going to select all of them i'll create one keyframe at x and then go to around somewhere over here let's move all of them over here like this and this time what i'm gonna do i'll simply copy this y position keyframes and hit ctrl c ctrl v and we will do this thing for all of this text so our y position keyframes would be like that only okay also uh, we will copy our rotation keyframes but uh, i don't think we need to do that all we need to do simply create one keyframe at rotation on each and every one like that and at this point instead of one we want two rotation so let's type two sorry two and two and press r4 so we can see rotation only select those hit f9 go to the graph editor select this ground and we will adjust it like previously okay like this now again at this point i want their source text should change so again in search option type source text and again we will create one keyframe on this three text we will hit page down button and all you can do uh, simply select this text and with the help of text tool you need to change the text okay and hit u go to the x and now all we need to do over here uh, make sure that your time indicator it at properly at exposition keyframes 
and hit U. Let's hide this four. I mean three. Select this and adjust the position properly. Then select this eye. Enable it. Adjust the position of this one properly. Then select the C. Adjust the position properly with the help of arrow keys. Then select the C. Adjust the position. Okay. So now our animation is almost ready. Okay. So now what we need to do, I'll select all of this uh, extra red uh, text and I'll delete those text. I'll delete this null object also. And what we are gonna do over here, simply select uh, this uh, E, let's I, let's say, and let's go to around five frames. I'll move this I over here, go to 10 frames, select this and move this over here, select this and move this over here. Now select all of them and hold Alt open bracket and adjust it like this so we'll get something like this or instead of that what you can do you can start with this e so you can select this c over here move this over here then adjust it like this and now select all of them and hold alt open bracket so we will get something like this okay but now we need to create this in the form of loop so first of all select all of them and press ctrl shift C to pre-compose it. I'll call it as text animation and hit OK. Press S for scaling option and let's move this scale 200. Press P for position and let's move this text over here. Or I think scale should be our let's say 180 maybe or like this. Let's see. Okay, this looks good. Let's move this text over here and we will create one keyframe at position like this then press ctrl r on your keyboard and we will create one ruler like this and it should touch the edge of this end like that then go few frame forwards uh, or you can go inside this hit u and check out where is your last keyframe which is over here then go to the main animation and all you need to do simply change the position of this one and create one keyframe like this and make sure that this end should touch this edge so adjust with the help of arrow keys and then hit end so now if you see your text should be in the form of loop like this and if you want then right click new and create one null object select this uh, make it apparent with this null select this text press s you can adjust the scale still your text gonna be in the form of loop like this okay let's deselect this null object and hit delete let's select this hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus one press p let's select those keyframes uh, make sure to select both the keyframes and your time indicator should be on the keyframe and you can bring this downwards like this then press p for opacity and create one let's say 20 like this then select this select your rectangle tool and we will create one mask like this on this one sorry let's select this and create mask like this go over here and increase the feathers so along with the text animation you will get that thing also okay uh, this thing looks quite weird okay our mask is not that much long so all what you can do you can simply your selection tool and you can select these two points and you can increase it like this so you will get something like this and at the end press ctrl y to create one solid background like this uh, let's select this go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for ramp effect simply apply this gradient ramp swap these colors and instead of black i am going to choose light grayish color like this so i'll get this kind of text animation and if you want then you can simply right click new and create one adjustment layer and you can apply tint effect on it and you can swap these colors also so you will get different results like this so yep this is how you can create this kind of creative text animation
So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. And if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos. I'll see you in my next video. Until then stay tuned.